All right, welcome back to Building Dad Bod 2.0. It is deadlift day, posterior chain day. Um, wasn't as recovered up as I wanted to be for this workout. Had a couple real physical days um, for my lower back at work. And so after doing my, uh, my deadlifts last week and my uh, RDL 21s, um, I knew I had to cut back on some volume this week or at least cut back on some intensity. So I wanted to still get my deadlifts done, and this is where you gotta have uh, you gotta have some lots of tools in your toolbox, uh, the ability to change on the fly. So, so I worked my way up to 372 pounds on deadlifts after doing a whole bunch of warm up sets, um, which was the goal for this week anyway. Um, four sets of four. So here's my first set. The thing is, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get the RDL 21s this week. Um, just too much fatigue in my lower back, so um, came up with a plan B. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, so that was my first set. There's my fourth set, 372 for a set of four. So last week, 365 moved really nicely. Um, I was feeling fast, feeling light. This week, it was definitely a grind, um, and that is just due to the fatigue in my lower back. So... Um, wanted to get the conventional deadlifts done though and then uh, rather than doing the RDL 21s I went to an exercise that really hammers the glutes and hamstrings so we did uh, landmine RDLs these actually hit my glutes way harder than uh, the deficit RDL 21s but can't do as much weight um, so we're just doing one side at a time here so we got 100 pounds on the end of the barbell. I don't know what the exact total weight is that you're feeling uh, with the barbell being in the landmine like that. But uh, if you've never done this, it's an awesome exercise. Um, you get that nice big stretch. I always use 10 kg plates um, or if you had 25 pound plates rather than using 45s because it allows you to get a bigger stretch at the bottom. Um, basically allows you to get into a deficit without having to stand on a box. Um, highly recommend these. Great accessory movement. Um, next week, hopefully if I'm feeling good enough, we'll be back to the uh, RDL 21s. Um, I really want to focus on building those up for work capacity. But uh, today was an awesome substitute. Um, really hit the glutes hard. That's the goal. Hit the glutes without fatiguing the lower back. So it was a great option. Served its purpose exactly the way I wanted it to. If you don't own a landmine, they're super cheap just to get a basic landmine. I can add a ton of versatility to your workouts. Uh, next up, doing um, Nordic hamstring curls. Doing them assisted. Obviously, these are super easy on the lower back. Hit the hamstrings and the glutes like crazy. Um, uh, again, awesome exercise. So the focus after the conventional deadlifts was just to be able to hit the glutes and the hamstrings hard but have as little fatigue on my lower back as possible. Normally on posterior chain day, I'm choosing exercises like RDL 21s or um, cambered bar good mornings or weighted back extension stuff that's specifically going to hit my lower back as well as my glutes and my hamstrings. But today wasn't the day for that. Today was the day to just focus on glutes and hamstrings after the conventional deadlift. So we finished up with some reverse hypers. Um, obviously this one you need the reverse hyper machine uh, to do it really effectively. There are ways around it. Louis Simmons who made these famous started off doing them just on top of a workbench uh, with just his legs for weight. Um, which having had major back surgery when you're coming back from major back injuries. That's all you really need at the start. Just the weight of your legs to get a workout in. Um, as you progress obviously you need to add more and more resistance. Uh, when I do these, my goal is to be explosive on the way up and try to resist the weight on the way down. I don't let my legs swing way under. See, see a lot of people, they swing their legs way under the machine and they allow their um, big curve in their lower back. Um, do that, Doing that for traction. Um, supposed to be really good for traction. My lower back's fused so it doesn't uh, bend like that. So that doesn't work for me and that's why I stop before going way under, but I also find slowing the momentum and stopping and then swinging back up. Um, it's the glutes and the hamstrings harder. So that's why I do that. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.